If you need help sexing your gargle, gecko, juveniles, and adults, stick around. I'm going to show you how to do that. So first and foremost, the easiest way to sex your gargoyle geckos is going to be to wait until they're actually sexually mature or adults, and then the males will develop this hemipenal bulge. It's a pretty prominent bulge that you see right underneath their vent, and the females will just have a flat surface area. Now some females, especially if they're a little bit overweight, can have a little bit of a pouch there, but you will see the clear difference. If you have to think about is my gecko a female or a male? Once it's an adult, it's most likely just a female with a little pouch because the bulge is very evident. So now let's go sex some gargoyle gecko juveniles, which are a little bit tougher than crested gecko juveniles. So before I pull out some juveniles and show you how to sex the smaller gargoyle geckos, I want to show you what pores look like on a male gargoyle gecko and a female gargoyle gecko. So females don't have pores. Sometimes they can have dimples, which are similar to pores, but they're not exactly the same thing. But basically, what happens with male gargoyle geckos is that they will actually start to develop pores right around like the 10, 15 gram range, sometimes even younger. I've seen pores on gargoyle geckos as young as five grams. If you weigh your gecko and it's five grams to 10 grams, you could probably already start looking. If it's 10 to 15 grams, then you could definitely look and tell if it's a male or female, depending on if it, if it has pores or not. So this here is a female. And the reason I'm showing you a female first is because I want you to see how the scales look without the pores so that when I show you the pores on the gecko, it's, it's pretty evident, right? So the pores are basically just like little dots in the center of the scale that they will have right above their vent area. And like I said, the females don't get those pores, but if you see those pores on a smaller gecko, then it's most likely a male. So here is a male gargle gecko and I want to show you the pores that they have and it's easier to see on these bigger geckos and they're more prominent because they're fully mature. It's a good way to kind of identify what you're looking for and it's basically going to be the shiny little like wax substance that's coming out of the middle of their scales right above that vent area. It could be, you know, like a dark gray, it could be like a light gray or even black at times, depends on the gargoyle or, or the gecko itself. Gargoyle geckos in particular tend to have multiple row of pores where cressids don't have as many. They could have one, two, or three, or four at the very max, but gargoyle geckos, I've seen four, five, six rows of pores stacked up on each other. So it's a little bit easier to tell once they do have those pores develop, the only thing is that, you know, male gargoyle geckos have pores, but female gargoyle geckos can oftentimes develop dimples that look like pores and it gets all confusing. For the sake of this video, take a look at what this gargoyle gecko's pores looks like. And now you have an idea of what we're looking for in the juveniles we're going to look at now. All right, so what we have here is a juvenile female gargoyle gecko, and I'm going to show you. This girl weighs about 12 grams. What I typically do is I'll get a clear deli cup just like this one. I'll put the gargoyle up on it. I'll press the gargoyle down so it can't move, and then I'll use a jeweler's loop to look in that section and see if I could see any pores. Now, this female is clear of any pores. And uh, another thing that you may be able to do, especially if you have the new iPhone, it, ha it has the macro lens on here. So if you get close enough, you could almost see, you know, you could take a pretty good picture of it. Obviously, better lighting would help. It will give you an idea of what you have. And you could zoom in on that, but you know, obviously better lighting is ideal. That way you get the clearest picture possible. But if you don't have a jeweler's loop and you have the iPhone, then you may want to try that. We know this is a female. It's clear of any pores and it's 12 grams, so I'm pretty confident in saying this is a female. Also, another thing is gargoyle geckos tend to run female heavy for whatever reason. But now, let's go look at a juvenile male. All right, so here I have a juvenile male gargoyle gecko, and as you can see, he is not showing a bulge just yet. He's still very small, but he is showing pores. So I'm gonna weigh him here so you guys can see how big he is. And he is about 11 grams, so that's about the size that I would start to confidently feel that you could sex these guys. Now I'm gonna put them here on this clear deli just like I did before. I'm gonna look with my loop to make sure. And yeah, you could see the pores very, very evidently. So I'm gonna take a picture with my iPhone so you guys could see it better. 
So you can clearly see the pores on this gargoyle gecko. Now, like I said, they're not gonna be black. Sometimes they're like a light gray and that's, you just gotta look for a pattern basically. When they're all clustered up together, that's when you could say pretty confidently, okay, this is a male. If they have kind of like just one line of like what looks like pores, Sometimes that's not pores, those are dimples. That's how you can tell the distinction between the two. Pores will typically be all clumped together. In that area, they could typically have, you know, four, five, six rows even, especially on gargoyle geckos. So that's how you're gonna tell. Get yourself a jeweler's loop if you don't have an iPhone. They sell these things, you know, on Amazon. There's like a, a couple really good ones. There's some that you could even put on your iPhone. It's just a clearer shot. I just don't have it. That's how you sex a uh, juvenile gargoyle gecko.